Hello, I'm Walter Kekki Ishihara, the CTO of Mirador. Today I'll show you how to mass deploy Microsoft Teams, a video conferencing and messaging app that we use ourselves. We're here at my Mirador site where I've already got a couple of devices enrolled. We open up the applications view and from there we'll add a Windows app. Microsoft provides an MSI for mass deployment, so we select MSI. We'll name the application Teams and select File Upload as the media type. Then upload the MSI. And set the tab to install to all users. Let's then add Teams for Android. Select Manage Google Play Store and proceed to search and approve Teams. Finally, let's take care of iOS. For this, we want to use the VPP app, so head over to Apple Business Manager at business.apple.com. Head over to Apps and Books under Content and search for Teams. Select Teams from the list. Make sure the location is correct. Select a quantity and get the licenses. Then head back over to the Mirador site and use the Update Applications tool under Apple VPP. And that's it. Now we've got the application set up for all platforms. We can do the installation here using the deployment tools. Just select all devices. And that's it. The application is deployed. We can also use the devices view. So select the devices we want. Use the deploy application tool. Select teams, deploy and that's it. We immediately see Teams installed on the iPhone here. Now, deployment by hand works just the same whether you've got one or 1,000 devices, doesn't make a difference, but there's still manual work. Since we're in full remote work mode for the entire company, let's automate the installation for all devices. We do this by creating a business policy. We start the ad wizard, set the policy to apply for all devices, and skip the rest of the steps except for the applications. Add teams for all platforms. We'll call this the Teams installation policy. And after we hit create and close, that's it. Now we can always be sure that any device under management has Teams installed. Finally, let's check back on one of the PCs. We log in and see that just as Microsoft says, Teams installs itself for any user at the next logon. Don't forget to enable two-factor authentication. Stay safe and healthy. I'm Walter Kekki Ishihara. Thanks for watching.